invasive species. In their native habitats, they live in balance with nature's food chain. But in foreign territory, they can become dangerous intruders. Now, there's a new invader on the block, a ferocious fish with a massive appetite and razor sharp teeth. It may even walk on land, the snakehead. It represents a, a, an introduction of something that can compete and possibly outcompete um, the native fishes. A northern snakehead reaches sexual maturity by age two or three. Each spawning age female can release up to 15,000 eggs at once. Snakeheads can mate as often as five times a year. This means in just two years, a single female can release up to 150,000 eggs. In a natural habitat where predators and prey work in balance, fast breeding's kept in check. But in a foreign ecosystem where natural predators are missing, it can lead to a disastrous population explosion. Snakeheads are also known to lash out at any who approach them. Of the 29 known snakehead varieties, many, like the giant snakehead, are powerful hunters with ravenous appetites and sharp, snapping jaws. Jaws that can tear flesh, even human flesh. At first, I wasn't quite sure what bit me. I saw a lot of blood on my arm. I thought I was lucky it didn't hurt me that much. They can bite your entire hand off. In the U.S., snakehead attacks are just a small part of their danger. To an ecosystem, invading snakeheads pose a far greater threat. Outside its natural habitat, the northern variety can decimate a food chain. These fish are top-level predators that will eat virtually anything in their path. They can travel across land and live out of water for up to three days. On land, snakeheads use a primitive lung above their gills. They have these air chambers just up underneath the, the skull, so they'll rise to the surface, gulp air. That air is forced up into those air chambers, which acts in, in many respects like a lung. To complete this monstrous picture, some say the snakehead can do something few other fish can, walk on land. Out of the water, snakeheads rhythmically move their fins and muscular bodies back and forth. It's the fish equivalent of walking. And if snakeheads do in fact use this ability to cover distances above water, it's a resourceful adaptation. Walking on land could mean the difference between life and death. As the battle of man versus snakehead continues, biologists and fishermen refuse to sit back and wait. They monitor population growth, study DNA, and gather as much information as possible, hoping to find a clue to the best way to control this frankenfish. Only time will tell how dangerous this foreign predator is to the ecosystem. But one thing's clear, the snakehead has already earned the title of an unforgettable fishzilla.